My name is Eunice Lumidy and we're here live in Glasgow tonight for one of the most celebrated nights in the film calendar. Join us for a night of glitz, glamour and true on-screen talent. The BAFTA Awards 2013. Um, can I just ask you, what does the Scottish BAFTA Awards mean to you? I think it's a great night to showcase Scottish talent. It's very un-Scottish to brag about yourself, and I think it's something we should do more of. There's so many talented people going to be in that auditorium from, from, from all aspects of the media, and I think it's a great, a great evening. And who's your favourite artist that's up for a nomination tonight? Oh, artists, I don't know. Um, there are so many of them. I know that... Uh, Kirsty Wark is uh, getting an Outstanding Achievement Award and as a journalist you have to applaud Kirsty and everything that she's done. Um, I'm Paul Brannigan, I'm an actor. I started off doing the film The Angel Share by Cairn Loach. Um, I've then gone to do Under the Skin, Jonathan Glazer, Sunshine on Leaf, Dexter Fletcher, a couple of shorts in London, um, a documentary by the STV Appeal. Yeah, and that's been all in the last two years, so it's been a pretty busy two years. What was it like working on Sunshine and Leith in Scotland? Um, do you know what? It was, it was an amazing, it was an amazing journey. It's only you know a short time that I was there for, but working with Dexter Fletcher was just a great buzz. The energy the guys got's amazing, and just you know actually dwelling into that sort of a method of acting, you know, with an amputee and and challenging myself on that emotionally and both physically. You know, it's it's it was an eye opener for me. What have you got coming up next? Um, I have a few things next year, um, which are in a pipeline, a couple of additions, but I can't mention too much about them. Sorry. And tell me about um, anything that you'd like to see happening in the future, like your your wildest dreams, if you had the opportunity. Um, I, su I suppose for me, it's, it'd probably be directing more movies. You know, I, I would I, I would probably say that I would love to put some sort of a vision down in paper and maybe direct it, you know, I don't know, rather than star in some big movie. Uh, that would be nice as well, but actually directing one movie. Uh, my name's Greg McHugh, I'm an actor and I wrote and starred in Gary Tank. I feel very excited to be here and um, I look forward to a fun evening and, uh, you know, acknowledging all the hard work that's gone into all the shows that have been made. Can you tell us what it feels like being at the Scottish BAFTA Awards tonight? Oh, it's brilliant. It's such a great experience for me. I always get to see friendly faces and everyone that I know. And I'm getting to present tonight as well, so it makes it extra special. Hello. I've just finished in a film that I produced as well, so it's my first production role, which is amazing. And I'm doing a play in January at the Trump. Oh, sorry. We <laughs> that <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, my name's Steve Begg, uh, I'm sort of visual effects supervisor, um, I'm Scottish obviously, uh, and uh, I, uh, I, I'm, I appear to be um, getting a, a BAFTA for the uh, uh, recognition of my work on uh, visual effects. How does that feel, being, having that potential of getting the BAFTA? It's, it's absolutely, utterly amazing. But even more amazing, it comes from like my Ain folk, uh, Scottish people. Uh, so to be recognised by people you know, where I come from, basically, even means uh, a lot more. Hey, I'm nominated for a BAFTA tonight. Very, very happy with that. And um, yeah, I've been uh, mostly known for comedy acting, really. Um, but now uh, I'm getting nominated for a Grown Up Award, uh, a, a proper acting job award. So, Well, I think it's, it's important to have an industry night in Scotland where everybody can get together and pat each other on the back because it's not just about the acting. All the categories are covering every part of the business, so it's great. It's a great industry night. Well, it's, been age, it's been a whole year since I saw you. I don't know if you remember, I was wearing the Laura Ashley you were. blue That's right. Howie's party. That's right, Howie's, yes. Good. Yeah, That's so right. nice to see you. Okay. We're here at the Scottish BAFTA Awards, so first of all, just tell us a little bit about how it feels being here in Scotland. It's lovely. It's always good. A, a rainy night in Glasgow, which is, uh, if it was anything else, would be really shocked. But that's uh, no, it's good. It's good to be here. And it's, uh, it's always a good. It's always a good sort of. Um, it's a good acknowledgement for the work that one's done, and there's a lot of people who work really hard in Scotland, and it's good to see that work being acknowledged. You know. What have you been working on and what have you got coming up next? Oh, where to begin? Uh, a lot of stuff. I'm going to be doing a play in the West End in the new year. 
I got a series coming out in Jan in April probably, uh, which is a spy series for the BBC, which is coming out, and hopefully doing more Bob Seven sometime. And I suppose lastly, what, what would you be your best vision for, for Scotland and film in the future? Oh, that's a big question. I think just to continue the way it's continuing and just to do more and more stuff. You know, there's a lot there's a lot of richness here which we've not really tapped into dramatically from a dramatic point of view. And I just think it's a lot going on and we should encourage more. Thank you. What's been your favourite project you've worked on to date? To date? I've been really lucky. I've been spoiled. I've got to work with some fantastic directors and some exciting films. And uh, yeah, I'm, I, uh, I'm really pleased with most of the opportunities that I get to, to play. Probably best known for playing Ray in my Mad Fat Diary. So that's, that's me. And what's been the best thing that you've worked on to date? Probably my Mad Fat Diary. Um, it's been life changing for me. I've just been awarded a Breakthrough Brit and now a nomination at the Scottish BAFTA. So it's, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, but it's been amazing. Just tell me how it feels being at the Scottish BAFTA Awards tonight. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very depressed about it. Aww. I really think they could have given it to someone else. <laughs> no, I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. What have you been working on? Um, I've, got a, I've been directing a play. I've got a play on in Sheffield at the moment, a new play called Love Your Soldiers, which has got a week to go. Uh, but, uh, sorry, I've been keeping an eye on that. Uh, I'm off to New York next Sunday uh, to do some radio with Ian McKellen. I'm going to New York for radio. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Well, my work's been pretty varied, actually. Um, I tend to do sort of characters that are quite dark or involved in kind of dark things and I've been really lucky to work with some great filmmakers and great writers. This year I was involved with Filth with um, John Baird and James McAvoy and that was a wonder to be involved in a fantastic film like that. And also for those in peril with Paul Wright, Paul Wright wrote and directed it and it's a beautiful, beautiful, heartbreaking tale about grief and and how people cope with it. So a real joy to be involved in those things, yeah. Head teacher on Waterloo Road was Jane Bale on EastEnders. Um, it's great to be here at the BAFTAs tonight. I did it last year as well, um, and so I didn't know what to expect last year. So, But once you've done it once, you kind of know what to expect, so you're a wee bit more comfortable about the whole thing. It's just lovely. It's just a nice night for Scottish television and film. Kirsty, hi. How are you? I'm very well. Um, can I just ask how it feels uh, being nominated for a special or receiving a special achievements award today? Well, it's a tremendous privilege, and I'm very grateful to BAFTA, and um, I'm delighted. I'm thrilled. I'm actually very moved. What's the best thing about the Scottish BAFTA awards? Best thing was all the frocks, I think. And what have you got coming up next? Um, well, um, news night tomorrow night. I have to keep fairly sober for news night. A lot more art shows and a novel coming out in March, so I've got a lot going on. Thank you so much, you look amazing. I love this dress that you're wearing, it's so cute. It's a little bit and your hair is really high. long from last getting, year. I know, yeah. Um, yeah, so you're um, actually presenting and hosting tonight. Yes, Tell us a little bit about how that feels. Well, it's second year in a row, so I feel very honoured to be asked back to do it for a second year. Um, and uh, it's nerve-wracking, because I'm, in, I'm, in, you know, I'm stood up in there in front of a room of someone who's a fan of a lot of people in that room and the work that they've done. So to be able to kind of be here and run things and shout about, uh, you know, the, the celebration of the hard work that they've done is only a good thing because I think anything that highlights Scottish talent is good. And also this year they've, you know, they've, they've kind of changed a few of the categories to include people who've had to leave Scotland to, to work in whatever field that is that they work in. You know, there's still Scottish talent, so I'm glad that that's been included as well because that's what I've had to do. So, yeah. It's good. It's and exciting. what's the best thing about being here tonight in Scotland at the awards? Um, well, the best thing's been able to to celebrate and highlight all this incredible talent. You know, people who who you know they just get on with their job and do what they do, whether that's children's programming, making documentaries, making factual series, um, writers, directors. So for them to get the chance to get up on that stage and and thank people and be recognised for for the hard work they've done and to be part of that for me is is, is a great thing to be part of. 
It's up to you. Oh, thank you so much. Not as amazing as you. You look amazing. Oh, so cute. I'll just be quick. You look amazing tonight, Muriel. Tell us how it feels being at the Scottish BAFTA Awards tonight. Oh, I love Scottish BAFTA. It's one of the best nights of the night. And honestly, it's got better and better every year. And it really matters for Scottish talent. We take this very seriously, even though I don't look as if I'm taking it seriously. Where did you get your fantastic frog? Got that from a little vintage shop Show in Edinburgh. Shoes. Yeah, my like, shoes. Show shoes. Show shoes. <laughs> you love them. Excellent. Thank you so much. Congratulations. How does it feel winning a BAFTA award tonight in Scotland? Um, a bit mind-numbingly numb, you know. I didn't think we would win anything. Um, and to me, I've won the most important award. It's, it's the audience awards. And that's who I make films for. I don't make it for, for critics who don't like me for some reason. I don't know why. But, uh, you know, hey. Um, yeah, I, I'm very, very honoured to get this. Excellent. And I suppose what I wanted to ask was, what were the kind of highs and lows working on the project? The, I, I, I think the highs were, I was very pleased with the end result. Uh, I worked with terrific actors and actresses in the film. Um, and that was a big high. The lows were, and I don't want to harp on it because, you know, life's too short, but, you know, you weren't allowed to film it up here. So, of course, when the critics come on board and said, it doesn't look like Glasgow, I went, well, hey, guys, it ain't. You know, we're shooting it in Bow in London because we weren't allowed to come and, and, and film it up here. Um, can't quite understand why that happened. But, you know, I've got no bug to bear. Film's done well. I'm very proud of it, and, and to me, that's that. And would you be looking to do more films in the future in Scotland? I'm absolutely 100% committed to come up here and do a couple of films. I've got one I'm just knocking out at the moment, trying to get that done by February, and I'll be hot on the tail to come up here and work with your talent. One. How does it feel winning your BAFTA tonight? I have had such a long career since I was 21 in broadcasting and done many, many different things. And along the way I've interviewed some wonderful people and covered some uh, extraordinary stories, but this, it's just like, you know, this is a kind of, it kind of makes it worthwhile that actually being honoured by your own people as it were in broadcasting and I'm, I'm immensely privileged and very, very humbled. And just getting that kind of recognition and stuff. I know, because um, there are so many brilliant broadcasters out there, you know, and um, so tonight is very, very special for me. Well, I think the thing is you really not quite start from scratch each day, but, you know, you might have a, a film from one of the brilliant film unit people who are out, but by and large, you have to prepare for anything. Passport's always in your pocket. You never know what you're going to do. And so, therefore, it's preparation. So, you know, I read the papers, I keep up with things, just in case something's thrown at you. So... Last week, Tuesday, you know, I was in London. You're going to Copenhagen tomorrow, so luckily I have my passport with me, and off I went to interview the star of Oregon. So you just have to be prepared for anything. Is there anybody that, um, throughout your career, has been particularly inspirational to you? I think people inspire me all the time, but one of the earliest inspirational figures in my career was Joan Bakewell, who is still working away at broadcasting, who is still brilliant, and it was brilliant when she started out. And I just think she is terrific terrific representation of women. So Sam, tell us about how you feel being in Scotland tonight at the BAFTA Awards. 
It's, uh, I have to pinch myself, actually. It's really, uh, it's, you know, it's really good fun to be here. And uh, I was just saying to some other people earlier, I was uh, walking around backstage and there's some, some great actors and actresses here that I've, you know, followed for years and, 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 and idolised. And there they are, um, drinking champagne or, or not. And, uh, yeah, so it's a real delight. And there's so much talent here in Scotland. Um, and the BAFTAs is just, uh, you know, rising on the cake for everyone. We're filming a, a very large project, um, Outlander, for, for those people that don't know, but it's, uh, it's a, a big um, co-production between Stars, Left Bank, uh, Sony, and um, yeah, it's, it's just enormous, the, enormous, the enormity of it. There's you know, 20 million followers, uh, or, or people that have bought the books already, the series. Um, we've got to do them justice, um, and we've got to do Scotland justice. It's all based here, um, and I think we do, and uh, you know, I hope that the fans will fall in love with Scotland as much as, as we have. So you've won tonight. Tell us a little bit about how you feel. It's great. No, it's great. I think anything that uh, you know uh, brings attention to the film and you know makes people aware of the film is a great thing. So hopefully, you know, people it gives them more chance of people uh, going to see it and checking it out. Yeah. I suppose I would like to ask, what's the most challenging aspect of working as a writer? As a uh, well, uh, because it, it was writing and directing for this particular film, it was. Uh, I think I think the writing's just kind of going from like one line as an idea, and then up until uh, yeah the finish. Film. How do you feel winning this award tonight? Well, um, it was absolutely thrilling, and um, it, I, I was just worried. that I've been sitting down for so long that I might stumble when I stood up. It's been a, a long, long sit. Um, it was it was thrilling to uh, to have the room stand for me. Um, as I said, I don't think I've ever had that before. And it was thrilling to have David Tennant presenting the award. I mean, the most famous man in British entertainment at the moment. Uh, that was a thrill. But I've known him for a long time. What's been your most uh, inspiring role to date? My most inspiring role? Well, Victor Meldrew, of course, is terribly important to me. And Eddie Clockerty, two of the writers that I mentioned today. Um, they've been wonderful to perform, uh, so it's a toss-up between Victor and Eddie. And how important are awards like the BAFTAs in Scotland? Well, um, I think when, you, when you're a recipient, they're very important. <laughs> I wouldn't knock them at all. Uh, I, I'm not, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of very good work is done by a lot of wonderful actors, which is not recognised. Um, and sometimes, sometimes awards are won by people who you, you don't quite agree with. But it's wonderful to receive a Lifetime Achievement Award. Well, congratulations again, and it's been absolutely fantastic meeting you this evening. Thank you very, Thank much. You very Thanks. much. Thanks a lot. Mm. Cheers. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you.